it makes me so upset to have to give all my beautiful flowers here but i cannot carry them <laughs> before my birthday I go and I get a new hair color let's see birthday hair is done I absolutely love it it's a little bit more blonde but I'm still trying to keep it healthy so I'm going for like a natural kind of blonde highlights now I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen for my birthday this is the first time that I let someone else organize something on my birthday. I usually like to organize everything myself because it's the best not to have expectations from anyone. And so because I love my birthday, I love it. On my birthday, it's like I get an invisible crown, put it on my head and I'm a queen for the day. <laughs> and I usually just like to plan it all myself. And this year, my boyfriend, said that he would like to do something for me. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea if we're going somewhere. I have absolutely no clue on what's going to happen. I hope it's gonna be something good. I'm a bit anxious. I honestly, I don't even have a clue. I have no possible clue what it could be. And I don't expect anything, you know? So that's really the best when you don't expect and then you just, you're just automatically gonna be surprised. I have my dress, let me show it to you. This is the dress that I will be wearing. I have no clue where. I cannot wait to wear it though. I don't yet have heels for it, but I have to buy something. It just looks Vautier dresses are, wow. It's the last night before my birthday. He just gave me another hint, just now. He told me that tomorrow morning at 12.30, we're gonna take a plane. A plane to where, I'm wondering. I'm gonna check the departures from the airport to see what planes there are at 12.30 tomorrow. But to be honest, I don't think he would be that predictable. Maybe he gave me a wrong time. I'm so excited to share this uh, birthday story with you guys. I hope it's gonna be special, you know. But every year I celebrate my birthday in the way that I choose for myself. And this year is gonna be the first time that I'm just allowing someone else to, to do something for me. This is really the first surprise, like a real surprise, that I'm getting from anyone, ever. <laughs> I hope I like it. This is my last night of 28 years old. Tomorrow night I will be turning 29. So by the time I'm gonna post this vlog, I shall be 29. Older and wiser, they say. Last year, I celebrated my birthday at um, home. I had a birthday party. And uh, the night of the 15th at 0000, I um, actually celebrated by myself on the couch with candles, with wine, with music. And I was reading some cards from friends that I received. It was beautiful and I was really so grateful. And then I started dating my boyfriend in February. So now it's the first time we're celebrating together as a couple. I'm gonna go pack now and um, see you tomorrow. Off we go. It's the 15th of December and I'm ready to receive my surprise now. What a welcome. 
The driver was waiting for me. Now let's see where we're going. This is how you start a day. <laughs> I checked online to see the departures from the airport, but I haven't found anything. So let's see. I'm so excited. Today is the day that I'm going to find out my surprise and where we're going. Are you guys excited to see too? Because I am definitely crazy excited to see where we're going. This morning the driver picked me up. It's the same driver that usually picks me up when we fly private. So, you guys love the private jet videos. So if this is a private jet video, well, continue watching. I don't know yet. So let's see. This is the right way to treat your woman on her birthday. My birthday is tomorrow, but it seems like it's a long weekend. I also found out that we're going to stay until the 19th. So it's a mini holiday long weekend. He gave me another hint yesterday. He told me that we are going to a restaurant that's super hard to book, apparently. Another funny story. We believe that we're very much connected to each other. And so the other day he was trying to, to think very, very, very strong at the destination that we're going to go to. And uh, I started guessing. So I was like Paris, London, Milan. And then when he started thinking very, very hard, I was like Florence. And he was like, no, but I did think about it. Then I said, okay, I think I know what it is. I think I know. I said, Venice. And he was like, you're freaking me out. It's not Venice. It's not Florence. But I did think about both of these destinations. I researched and I checked them out. But it's not this. But now stop, stop, stop guessing. Like, stop it. Like, enough. So I'm just thinking, maybe it's somewhere in Italy. Since he kind of like freaked out a little bit when I started guessing places in Italy. So I'm saying Italy. It's 12.25 and I'm still waiting for him to come down. So I can only assume that we are not taking a commercial flight since, uh, yeah, that would be gone. Super nice weather, baby. Super nice weather? Yes, my love. It's super nice weather, baby. We arrived late. We were supposed to take off at 12.30, but we arrived at 12.30. 35 the the perks of um, not taking a commercial flight I guess so yes guys we are taking a private plane to go I don't know where yet because you refuse to tell me and everyone refuses to tell me so I'm basically on a plane I have no clue where we're going it's very cloudy outside I'm a bit anxious but like happy anxious and also flight anxious <laughs> i got a my first gift from um the company we use luna jets and star jets that's so cute it's my first birthday gift the weather is so bad but he insists up in the sky it's gonna be amazing And off we go to an unknown destination. Can you tell me how many hours at least it is until we get there, please? No. So I don't even know how long we're gonna be in this plane. Okay, so we're in 
the city. At least we know that. It's very weird to be on a plane not knowing where you're going. You must really, really, really trust the person. So we've been on the plane for an hour, so it cannot be too far. So it has to be somewhere like uh, around Switzerland. I don't even want to like start guessing, but to be honest, the place doesn't look very like... Uh... <laughs> Super, super shocked when I guessed Paris. You guessed Paris today, <laughs> and I told you, baby, I'm saying it to you now in my head. And then the connection was. And instant. then I said Paris directly. Instant. But then you were like, no. <laughs> Guys, the wait is over, so it was not Italy. I thought we were gonna go to Italy, to be very honest. I don't know why I had the feeling when I said Venice and Florence, you like tremble a little bit so I thought it was that but in fact it was my first choice <laughs> he said no at that time but well Paris it is so welcome to Paris once again And we are in my favorite, 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 favorite hotel. And uh, in my favorite room. I also did a huge vlog on this hotel, on the room. We were here in February. It was the first time we came together on a um, holiday. On a like, it wasn't even a holiday, it was like a short trip. So it has a lot of meaning for us to be here. And uh, I mean, I love Paris. What a better place to spend my birthday. Well, let's see what else is gonna happen. We're here for four nights. Keep you posted. Next on, we're going for dinner. I'm all dressed up. I don't even know if I'm, what I'm wearing is good or not. Because I have no clue where we're going. You booked everything, huh? Like, um, like, what? like you booked everything. I don't have to, to figure anything out for this birthday. No. Good. Let's see where we're going. day now <laughs> on my birthday <laughs> it's 4 p.m. we pushed it too much last night too much too 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 much 
we're not so young anymore. So the hangover this morning was, and it still is horrible. Can you imagine on my birthday, we even canceled our lunch because we just couldn't. But I told myself that tomorrow will be my birthday also. So the day that I didn't celebrate it today, I'm just gonna celebrate it all tomorrow. Ah. Meanwhile, I received all these beautiful flowers. Amazing. I had balloons. I had a cake. Bottle of champagne. I don't want to see alcohol anymore. From the La Reserve Hotel, look how beautiful. Anniversary journal. And they offered me the newspaper from 16 of December 92. And it's the original one. How cool and innovative is that? Finally ready to get out of the room at five. Today was tough. We didn't really manage to um, to be very active. We went for dinner at Gigi. Super, super, super nice place. Absolutely loved it. It's um, vibing. But unfortunately now they have this new rule where you cannot stand up and dance. But still, I couldn't eat. So I cannot tell you about the food. But at least I was wearing my dress. And the place looks incredible. So I think my birthday surprises are kind of done now. I received flowers today, my brother also arrived, it was super super cool. Everything was like perfectly planned and I really must admit that I enjoyed it. But tomorrow, for the whole day, because today we were out, we're gonna just pretend like it's my birthday. So I feel like I'm having uh, a day birthday celebration as well. So tomorrow 17th, it's gonna be the 16th of December. Morning birthday flower delivery. <laughs> I mean, fake birthday flower delivery. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna make another wish. Make no, no, wish. please be the same wish. Okay guys, a little nice wish. Mm, okay. Your turn. Yay! Yes, yes baby, bravo. bravo! Bravo, bravo, congrats. We just finished our well, supposed to be birthday lunch in Maison Rousse. It was amazing. The food, we overdosed on so much food. The place looks insane. It's in a um, beautiful, beautiful house. I absolutely loved it here. So today we celebrated my birthday lunch, the 18th of December. And well, because 16 got canceled, we decided it's my birthday every day until we leave Paris. Everything was planned and booked by my boyfriend and this was my surprise Paris birthday trip. Everything was impeccable. 
He booked me a massage yesterday, the plane, all the restaurant reservations, flowers, balloons, absolutely everything was perfect. A gift, which you can see in my birthday gift vlog. I'm gonna do an unboxing of everything over there. This is where my birthday surprise vlog ends. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is our last night in Paris and um, I'm flying back tomorrow. If you did enjoy it, you know what you have to do. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Bye guys, thank you for watching.